All right, hello everyone, it's me, Janus Rasmussen here with another episode of Production Tricks. I recently had an AMA over at Reddit. One of the questions that came up quite a bit was how I get my synth pluck sounds in my music. Yeah, they're all made with the Juno 60, and today I want to take you through the process of how I make those sounds. Let's jump over to my lovely Juno 60 here. Here it is. Okay, let's make that pluck sound. Uh, what do we have now? Okay, that's not a pluck sound. Let's uh, take the attack down. Sustain. Release. Make it quite short. And then let's tweak the decay as we go. A little bit more. Okay, let's take the resonance down. Tweak the frequency until we get it to the sweet spot. Mm, okay, now we need the envelope to go up. That's kind of cool. I like the square, uh, not the sawtooth. Nice. Let's tweak the pulse width modulation, uh, find that sweet spot. Somewhere there, I like it. Sounds also nice if you put the release up. All right, um, let's give it a little bit of LFO to make it a little bit more wobbly. Just so it's a little bit uneasy. So now let's jump into the computer and let's see how I treat the Juno plugs um, to kind of get them to really sit in the mix. Here we have the session for my song called Jör. Let's listen to it. Cool. Okay, let's see what's on there to make it sound that way. First of all, we have an EQ. Looks like this. Roll off some high end is mostly just because it's so damn noisy, this Juno 60. First, let's disable all the plugins, see how this sounds without it. Wow, that's quite a difference. So I'm doing a lot with these plugins. Um, let's see what the EQ is doing. Let's turn it on. Just fixing some of the problem areas around here and up here around 1000, and then the high end taking it off. Next up is a Echo Boy Junior. It's on the ping pong setting and then on eight notes. The feedback is, is barely up, it's uh, very low. On the space echo, cutting a lot of low cut and high cut. I really just re kind of want it really narrow. More saturation as always. And then let's see how that sounds. getting somewhere but here is where it's getting interesting uh, with the virtual mix rack by slate look at this neve eq what it's doing it's kind of insane so uh, let's hear without it with it yeah it's doing a lot but i, I really enjoy when it's it's getting this really it's just really maxed out the the sound and then really makes it pop in the mix. Give it a little bit of high end on 2 dB and then around the 3k, 3 and 3.5k, I do quite a lot. It's like five, it's like plus 8.7 dB. That's a lot. And then the good old 1.6. It's a really like if you boost anything on this EQ around there, it's like 5 dB. The low end, like around 200, I take it down and then I'll low cut it up to 200 and after that there's a compressor it isn't isn't doing that much really but in the song it really does cut through and if I don't if I take the virtual mix rack off you can hear it so let's listen to a song with it on without it So that's just what it needed to cut through, really. All right, let's switch songs. Let's go to my latest single called Bloth. Here it is. Let's listen to it. So it's the same kind of sound. It's just much shorter. Let's 
look at the EQ I'm doing, taking out a lot of low end, and then I'm boosting a lot of uh, like 2.5k, taking again the high end off because it's so damn noisy, this fit. And then I have the Universal Space Echo plugin, and I use it for the spring reverb in, a, in it, and it just sounds really cool. It's kind of trashy. And then I have a pull tech and I'm just boosting a lot on the 4K and then taking more low end out. And here's another Juno plug sound. This one is almost the same. EQ is like this. And here again, space echo, only using it for the spring echo. And then there's some problem frequencies apparently in the sound. Take them off. Yeah, that's about it. That was how I treat my Juno plugs. Hope everybody's happy. And uh, remember to subscribe and push that bell notification button if you want to keep up to date with all my upcoming videos. Until then, toodle who, all the best to you.